I received quite a few questions in the comments of my previous video about how the game rounds decimal numbers to display them, so I wanted to make a follow-up video to address them. First, town centers cost only wood to repair, but we can't repair them if we have zero stone. What happens if we have a small positive amount of stone that's less than 1 so the interface still shows 0? Turns out that we still can repair the TC. We don't need a full 1 stone, just a non-zero amount. Next up are unit hit points and attacks. These values also are decimals. We really can notice it with heal bonuses, where the 1.25 multiplier often results in non-integer damage values. A unit dies as soon as its hit points fall below 1. They don't have to go all the way to 0. I showed this off in an earlier video where 1 HP villagers switch tasks, lose loom, and die. Trade carts do carry small positive amounts of gold if markets are directly next to each other. This got some people wondering whether it would be more effective to build markets close together. Let's do even more. In the scenario editor, we can press Ctrl G to allow us to place the markets in the trade cart directly on top of each other. The trade cart doesn't even have to move, but the gold only trickles up very, very slowly. We can compare this value to a single trade cart running between distant markets. A long trade route is much more efficient. Even if the trade cart running between the distant markets doesn't have the caravan technology to increase its speed, it still is more efficient than is standing on top of the markets. Also, caravan does not affect the rate at which gold is generated when trade carts do not have to move. Next, resource piles seem to round the same way as do villagers. I switched quickly back and forth between this gold mine and a villager, and the amount of resource present in the mine always is consistent with the amount carried by the villager in the villager interface. We even can see that the mine has zero resources remaining right before it disappears. You may have noticed this with sheep or boars decaying underneath the TC. We still can collect a tiny amount of food before the animal is depleted completely. Now I did ask the Capture Age team to read and examine carefully the decimal values of these resource piles, and there do appear to be some very slight discrepancies between the amount of resource taken by the villager and the amount removed from the resource pile. And this might explain those situations where players collect 3,149 stone instead of 3,150. But there isn't an obvious explanation for why this occurs, other than there must be a bug perhaps related to some extra calculation to account for various sieve bonuses. And finally, the technology tree states that wheelbarrow and handcart increase villager carry capacity by 25% and 50%, respectively. Now, that's kind of a lie. If we open up the Advanced Genie Editor, we see Wheelbarrow multiplies the carry capacity not by 1.25, but by 1.2695. Handcart then multiplies the carry capacity by 1.5 for a total increase of 1.90425. So do villagers with Wheelbarrow carry 12.965 resources, or is this value rounded up to 13? We'll check with this gold miner here. In one trip with Wheelbarrow, the interface reads 13 gold carried by the villager, the gold mine goes from 800 gold to 787 gold, and the interface reads 13 gold after it's deposited. After the second trip, the villager again carries 13 gold, the gold mine shows 774 gold, and when deposited, we now have 26 gold. Repeating our experiment with handcart research, the villager carries 20 gold, the mine reads 780 gold, and 20 gold is deposited. For the second trip, again 20 gold is carried, 760 gold remains on the mine, and a total of 40 gold has been deposited. So it looks like Wheelbarrow and Handcart both result in rounding the carry capacity up. Now how about researching Heavy Plow at the mill? This technology isn't a multiplier, but just adds plus one carry capacity for farmers. Does the order of researching Wheelbarrow and Heavy Plow affect the farmer carry capacity? The answer is no. The carry capacity is calculated as if the addition were applied before any multiplications. The same goes for the Aztecs, with their current bonus of plus three carry capacity. A fully upgraded Aztec farmer always carries 27 food, and in the original game, with the plus 5 bonus, they always carried 30 food. So that's it for now, just wanted to summarize a few quick questions about how the game rounds decimal numbers. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.